Now we have talked about irreducible Markov chains. We have talked about um, periodic states and aperiodic Markov chains. We, we have talked about absorbing states. Um, next, we will talk about recurrent and transient states. Suppose that a Markov chain is in state I. Define this probability. Probability that the Markov chain ever returns to state I. Okay. Suppose you are in state I. The probability that the Markov chain, after it leaves state I, it will come back. Okay. It doesn't specify the number of transitions. So it's ever returning. In, in any number of transitions. Now, this probability, if it is one, we call this a recurrent state. That means with probability one, I will revisit this state, okay? If it is less than one, then that, that means there is a positive probability that I will not return to this state, then we call this a transient state. So transient in this sense means um, it, its behavior uh, depends on time. And after a while, let's say in steady state, it sort of disappears. Okay. So in the steady state, you will not observe a Markov chain in a transient state. Or rather, the probability of observing the Markov chain in a transient state will be zero. That's, that's more rigorous. Now, you can interpret F sub i, this probability, as the parameter of a Bernoulli trial that whether the Markov chain returns to state i or not. So as, as I've stated, if this probability is less than one, then that means there is a non-zero probability that the Markov chain will leave this state for good. That means it will not return. So this means a transient state is visited finitely many times in the lifetime the entire lifetime of the Markov chain, whereas a recurrent state is visited infinitely many often. Okay? So, for instance, if, if you look at these examples, let me just clear out this. Okay, so here, um, these are all recurrent, these are recurrent. Um, you see, this one is transient, and this one is recurrent. Why is this transient? Because, well, if you start here in state one, with probability one half, you stay in one, with probability one half, you stay in one, and with probability one half, you leave it, and when you do, you can't come back, okay? You will never ever visit one again in that case. So that is transient state, okay? Here, all of these are transient states, but here, this is a recurrent state, and this is a recurrent state because it, Remember, if you start from this state, what is the probability that you return? It's one here, and this one similarly. But this one, you see, when you start here, actually, you immediately leave it, never to return. So this is a transient state. Okay? So transient states occur in a transient period, and after a while, uh, in the steady state, you do not expect to see them. You do not expect to observe them. Um, they might turn up, but the probability that you observe the Markov chain in a transient state, in state state, is zero. Okay, so this brings us to the definition of an ergodic Markov chain. So we have just studied the concept of ergodicity last week. So this is not going to be very confusing, I hope. Let's say state I is a recurrent state. That means it's visited or revisited infinitely many often. And TI denote its recurrence times, which means the times between consecutive visits. So let's say this is state I. Okay, I'm in state I. Then I leave it. Then I make a bunch of transitions wherever I go. And after a while, I come back. Since it's a recurrent state, I come back with probability one. And the time, that means the number of transitions I make before I revisit state I is called the recurrence time. We denote it with T sub I, okay? This is a random variable. And since this is a Markov chain, this uh, constitutes an IID sequence of Markov, uh, sorry, IID sequence of random variables, T sub I's. 
And you see, within T sub i, I, I mean uh, state i in one uh, slot, because I'm in state i, then I leave it, make another bunch of trans transitions, and I come back. So within these T i uh, time units, I'm in state i one unit. So the proportion of the time the Markov chain spends in state i in one cycle, in, in one visit, let's say, is one over T sub i. In the long run, as I said, T sub i's constitute an IID sequence. The average time the Markov chain spans in state i is equal to one over the expected time of T i, right? And this we call as the proportion of uh, the, the time it spans in state i as the stationary probability that the Markov chain is in state i. Now, remember, we assumed that state i is recurrent. Now, state i, furthermore, is positive recurrent if the expected transi uh, recurrence time, the expected recurrence time is finite. That means, um, on the average, after a finitely many number of transitions, it will revisit state i. In this case, since um, this is a, a finite value, expected ti, pi i is greater than zero. Otherwise, you see, when this expectation goes to infinity, then this uh, stationary probability will go to zero. In that case, we call state i null recurrent. It is recurrent, but it is null recurrent, okay? Um, now, positive recurrence um, is, is a good property because, well, um, now, you see, when you would like to compute the probability that in the state state, you, you observe the Markov chain in state i, you can make use of this approach. How many times do I observe state i and how many times or how many uh, or how long do I observe the Markov chain in, in its entirety? So positive recurrent and aperiodic states are called ergodic, okay? Positive recurrent and aperiodic states are called ergodic. In, in this case, pi sub i, this probability, will give the steady state probability of state i, okay? This is ergodicity again, because essentially you are deriving a probability based on a time average. You observe this Markov chain in the steady state after a long while. Um, as the window of your observation goes to infinity, the number of times the Markov chain visits state i divided by the total uh, number of transitions you observe converges to the steady state probability that you observe this Markov chain in state i. And in general, an irreducible, aperiodic, positive recurrent Markov chain is called an ergodic Markov chain, which will be, in fact, the focus of our attention in this course. These are the well-behaved classes of Markov chains where you can actually um, derive the steady state distribution. And uh, since they are irreducible, all states share the same properties, uh, which are aperiodic and positive recurrent. Positive recurrent means uh, the steady state probability of a, a state is non-zero, okay? And since it's aperiodic, there exists the limit. If, if you have a, a periodic Markov chain, the, the limiting case, the limiting distribution uh, may not exist in the sense that it depends on the initial state. If you remember this, extreme case, like one and one. Um, in, in steady state, we had said that the, the stationary distribution is one half and one half, which makes sense because half of the time you observe uh, the Markov chain in this state and half of the time you observe it in this state. But you see, if you would like to take the limit, the limiting uh, distribution, it doesn't exist because it depends on the time instant. The limit doesn't exist in the sense that it, uh, the, the distribution depends on time. I mean, uh, what is P100 
or what is pi 101. These two will be different based on pi zero. Okay. If, if you start from this state, okay, after an odd number of transitions, you will definitely be in this state. But if you start from this, after an odd number of transitions, you will definitely be in this state. That's the dependence on initial distribution. Hence, with periodic states, the behavior is not ergodic, or rather the, the limit may not exist, or it might depend on the initial distribution. 